Hi everyone, welcome back to the kitchen. Today we're gonna be making this delicious bacon ranch pasta salad that you can serve as is or add a protein of your choice. You can adjust it to make it the way you want it with the veggies that you love. And I can't wait to show you how this all comes together. But today, Rick's gonna toss this beautiful butcher box ribeye steak on the grill. We're gonna show you how to do it just to perfection, to your liking, and we're gonna talk a little bit about the importance of a meat thermometer and how you can tell if your steak is done the way you like it without a thermometer, just using your hand. I can't wait to show you how this all comes together. make a bacon ranch pasta salad. This is so easy and you can really customize this to your own tastes. You can add protein to it and make it a full meal. You can use it as a lunch and it's so easy. It is absolutely perfect for summer and you probably have a lot of these things on hand already. What I'm using here is I have one pound of cooked bow tie pasta. Please feel free to use whatever shape pasta that you enjoy. A short cut pasta I think is definitely more appropriate here. Even a macaroni would be fine. So I've just got that cooked and cooled. So after I boiled it, I drained it and I put the strainer in this bowl. I ran uh, cool water in there and then I dumped it out twice. And so the pasta is nice and cool and ready to receive all the ingredients. I'm gonna be using about a cup and a half to two cups of my homemade ranch dressing. If you're interested in my big batch ranch dressing mix, I will leave a link down below and in an I card here on the screen in the upper right hand corner. I've just made this using a cup of buttermilk, a cup of mayonnaise, a cup of regular milk and six tablespoons of my ranch dressing powder. You can use the regular ranch dressing uh, seasoning and uh, mix that you get like at the big box store, or you just can mix up some ranch dressing from the packet if that's what you have on hand. I have one pint of heirloom cherry tomatoes. I've just cut or quartered them depending on how big they were. I have about a cup of sweet baby bell peppers that I just cut in fours, removed most of the seeds, and then sliced thin. A cup of cooked crumbled bacon. I use the, um, the crumbled bacon that you get from uh, Sam's Club, and it comes in a big bag, and it's really great to have on hand. I just um, put about a cup of this on a paper towel on a paper plate in the microwave for a minute, and then I crisp it up, and it's perfect for this salad. I have a cup. This is actually a whole bunch of green onions that I cut. I just cut the ends off top and bottom, and I cut up the whole thing green and white part. And approximately a cup of cubed cheddar cheese. You can feel free to use shredded cheddar or whatever kind of cheese. You can leave the cheese out if you don't like cheese. It's all up to you. Again, you can turn this into a dinner salad. You can add cooked chicken, like a rotisserie chicken. You can add cooked steak if you have leftover steak. You could use salmon or a can of tuna or whatever if you wanna turn this into more of a dinner or a lunch style one dish meal. So really all we're gonna do is we're going to add all of these things into the pasta and then we're going to dress it with the ranch dressing. So in with our tomatoes, our cheese, our green onions, bacon and bell pepper. And of course, all of this is subjective. If you don't like bell peppers or green onions, leave it out, add to it. What do you want? You wanna put chopped cucumber in here? Go for it. You can add whatever you like and it's gonna be delicious. Just give this a good stir. Blend it all up and then we're gonna add the dressing. Now this makes a lot of salad. You of course can cut this in half and um, adjust it to your needs. This is great for a potluck if you can take it to church or in my case, I'm gonna be sharing this with a friend. She is out of town for the week and left her husband and her kids at oh. home. So I'm gonna take this over to them to enjoy while she is gone. So here we go with the dressing. I'm gonna start with a cup, but honestly, once this sits in the refrigerator, I'm gonna tell you, it really soaks up the dressing, the pasta does. So you wanna put in more dressing than you think you need because when you go in there tomorrow, it's gonna be really dry. And I don't know about you, but I do not like it when like my potato salad or a macaroni salad gets dry and icky. It's just not pleasant and nobody wants to eat it. So I'm gonna add another half a cup of this dressing. And then I'm just gonna package this up in an airtight container 
and take this over to them. But first, I'm going to fix you up a dish of it, and I'm going to show you what it looks like. I'm going to have Rick give it a taste, and we'll go from there. So I'll be right back. All right, there you go. Our bacon ranch pasta salad, all ready to go, already in a pretty serving dish, and you have pasta salad for an entire week or for a big crowd. Like I said, you can adjust this to suit your needs. If you're just one person, don't make a whole pound of pasta. Just make a little bit and then mix it up in a dish. You can just make one serving if you want to and it'll be delicious. Are you ready to taste it? If I have to. You have to, you know you have to. You know how this works. All right, there you go. What do you think? Really, really good. Really, really good. Because anything with bacon and ranch dressing is really, really okay, good. Not be. Right? Exactly. It has all those things we all love. You get all the flavor out of it. Too. Right? And you can taste everything. And the longer it sits, the better it'll be. You may have to add a little more ranch dressing. Like I said, once it's in the fridge, that pasta does like to soak up the dressing. So keep that in mind. You might want to add a little mayonnaise or a little milk or what have you. A little more ranch dressing to thin it out and make it all come together again. It'll still be delicious. So that's how you make bacon ranch pasta salad my way. I hope you give it a try sometime soon and I hope you love it and until next time I'll see ya.